<laughs> New Richmond Podcast back again with another one. Yeah, my boy Key here with me. What's happening? What's good, bro? Bro, hey. <laughs> <laughs> niggas turn thirty and forget how to do a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> niggas old as a bitch. Oh shit. That's why we see we went away to wait till we was thirty to come back and start to <laughs> hear that. Oh shit! Bro, I forgot how we did the intros, but what's going on? Oh, no, I was you, like bro? this: the rich man show. <laughs> 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 nah, bro, I ain't been doing shit, Yo, man. You stupid. The hell you been up to? Shit. So I think when we first stopped. I don't remember when we first stopped, but I knew at when I stopped. I was like, look, I'm moving in like a month. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Let, let me move. And I ain't want to have no more guests over at my place. So I was like, let me just move and figure out how I'm going to set that shit up. And then I went on vacation for like a week, five days, something like that. And then I just took my time. I was like, look, we're going we gonna to set this shit up. And when we get set back up, that's when we're going to start back up. Yeah. Nah, bro. <clears throat> then, yeah, bro. You took like what? After you moved, you took about like five months. <laughs> yeah. <Nah. laughs> so, nigga, I just moved. Thank yeah, you, this is nice too, bro. Thank you, man. Thanks. Thank I ain't having a bad in this motherfucker. Nah, ain't no guests <laughs> coming over here. Some might, some might, some might, but don't get mad if you ain't coming over here. It ain't nothing against you. Like, it's, I'm just not having people here, bro. You know how many guests I had in my other place? Yeah. It's, it's, I just got to a point. <laughs> I was like, why am I letting everybody know where I live? Like, what the fuck? Why? Like, I ain't hiding from nobody. But at some point, you want to have that. That sense of privacy, you know, you, yeah. you go home, you know, I was sending my address out to people, you know, who knows where it's going. Bruh, hey. Hey, bruh, bruh, the, um, the so-and-so. <laughs> hey, bruh, hey, look, hit this Janko. Yeah. Yep. But I, I don't put your address on the, um, Whatever, nigga. the Instagram page. Fuck, but yeah, man, good to see you, man. We both came off of hey, birthdays, yeah. bruh. Hey, yeah, bruh. Happy belated. I, I miss your you, shit, bruh. bruh. I was in goddamn. That was in Maryland or some shit. Where was I? I think I was here. You was here. Yeah, I was. I was at work. Now I think about it. I ain't do shit. Me neither, bro. When I, I, I went out to eat that night. You did. Where yes. you go? What's that shit called? Firebirds. What is it? It's get? like a steak place. It's, it's a short pump somewhere. Oh shit! Shit was good. Yeah, it was good. Oh yeah, yeah. You be eating steaks and shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. I be eating like steak and cheese. <laughs> Nah, I can't fuck with no steak. I don't you don't know. eat full steaks? You be putting sauce on it or you be no, eating it? No, no sauce. See, yeah, see, look. that shit that's, medium. That's why, because look, it's like, it's like, I remember I ate the steak with laying in their pubes and like. You you was they, looking for steak sauce? Yeah. It was they, like, they, what the fuck? And like, I, I ain't asked for that shit because ain't nobody else used. So oh. I'm like, oh shit. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. No, but for I, real, I, bro. I just you thugged don't, it out. But see, you really don't. If a steak is a steak, bro, you don't need to put no sauce so on it. Matter of fact, if it is, you're not even gonna want to, bro. Bro, you wouldn't eat no burger like, and and I know niggas probably that did it when we was young eat a straight burger patty, but like you I couldn't, like just, you couldn't just plain eat no burger. straight burger. I eat plain burgers. Yes, Man. I do, bro. If you cook it right and you season Wait. it right, it's better plain. All that ketchup and mustard and shit, it's good. It is good, but it's also good without it. All right. I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Like, this, yeah. like you, the, see, what you sold steak sauce? You like A one or fifty seven? Yeah, the A one sauce. You ever had fifty seven? Yeah. I remember. What was that like? That orange, really? Yeah. Shit? yeah, I ain't like this, huh? Yeah, I was somewhere, and it was the first time I ever seen that. I was like, "What a one? Like, we don't use A one. We use like some niggas be like really on that shit. Oh shit, niggas be mad. Yeah, I think they think A one too mainstream. Out of here. Get him. Fifty seven, mother. Yeah. Nah. Hell yeah, nah. what you did for your birthday? We um we went to um it's called what I fly out in the seven five. Out in um yeah, out in the seven five seven. Yeah, it's like a, um like the indoor skydiving jump. Oh, you did that, that shit? Yeah, that shit was crazy. I ain't gonna lie, that shit had me I don't know. You were scared? I won't scare. It, it won't even scare. It's like like I, I won't nervous or nothing before I did this shit. But cause I, I was thinking like this shit gonna be easy as a bitch. Right. And it won't. That, that's what fucked me up. Normally, mm. I can do anything. Like, I'd be like, man, this shit. Yeah. Hold on. What you mean it won't easy? Because like, 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 like you, you gotta, do? like, you gotta instruct it that me in there with you, and you gotta do like certain shit. Your arms gotta be a certain way. Your body gotta be a certain way. 
You know what I'm saying? And they be giving you signals. So what if you don't? You just gonna hit the ground? Nah, nigga, yeah, it's motherfucking. Well, it depends. Like, like one point they let me go, and that motherfucker was flying, and like I, I hit the little side of the um jump. Yeah. I was like, oh shit! Like yeah. nigga, come get me. And like, like, bro, like, bro, <laughs> bro, bro come get me, yeah, bitch ass. Nah, nigga, that shit be different, cause like, like, like I don't know how to like, like, like you think that shit be easy? Like you be seeing them niggas flipping this shit. That shit be hard as a bitch. That shit like, easy. Nah, nigga, hell nah. It's hard trying to stay like floating. Just straight flat. Yeah. Uh. So like 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 at one point I show you the video of that shit. Like 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 they took us up spinning around and shit. But like none of you ain't do none of that shit yourself. Mm. You got to take like well, like three or four classes before they even let you to do it. Yeah, by yourself. That's like that's like real skydiving or like uh, scuba diving. Like you can't even just go put on the tanks and shit. You got to have a certain amount of mm. dives before they let you like put the tank on and shit. For real, that shit, yeah, that shit was wild. That uh, shit, like, like I said, it, it wasn't scary, but it was like, like when the nigga let me go, I was like, oh shit, like I ain't had no control. Like it oh, felt shit. like, like nigga, if I fell out the so sky, wait, so wait, <laughs> <laughs> what, so, <bro>? what? <laughs> what nigga? Was he strapped to you? No, shit? nah, nah, the nigga just be floating around, oh. like, like he, he know this shit, bro. He know how to motherfucking move uh-huh. around and like, like, and, and they be standing up. Cause there's a net right there. Right. They, don't, they only fly around like if if like you going up. Right. You said this nigga strapped you. No, <laughs> no, bro. cause you know when you go skydive. Never mind. Bro. <laughs> no, bro. never mind, bro. Well, anyways, bro. Happy belated birthday. Thank you, bro. We ain't even really like like <coughs> we just started texting again after like maybe like two weeks ago or some shit. Cause yeah, like when bro. niggas be doing their shit, they just be doing their shit. Like we ain't, yeah. we ain't gotta be like. Oh, what you doing? Like, yeah, hey, nah, niggas, niggas, niggas just be sending childish ass right. shit. Right, we're sending videos and yeah. shit. You, you seen that? You seen that joke Mike Epps had when he was like, niggas be like, because he did the movie Friday. He was like, niggas be asking me monkey ass questions. Like, you talk to Ice Cube every day? <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, we ain't got to talk every day. Like, niggas yeah. be talking. You know, when it's time to talk, it's time to talk, bro. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know if you got nothing in there, bro. You ain't got to. Yeah, yeah, I do, bro. You got a little something? Yeah, bro. Ass. Happy birthday, Oh, bitch. shit, I must put that. A birthday, nigga. Look, nigga, talk with the fake shot in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we talking about the uh, the broom. It's Brian. The no, Brian. I'm joking. I don't hey, know. Look, I don't know. It's, it's Brian. And uh, Brian. Hey, Brian. Broom, but it says located in the fan district. Brian is a fusion of food, whiskey, cigars, live music, and a facility meant to serve as an incubator for ideas. Oh, that sounds like some smooth ass, like like yeah. a motherfucking nice ass vibe. Like, you know, I ain't read that that description, but I, that was a nice little touch at the end. An incubator for ideas, because when you first think about it, it's a full service restaurant, and you got a whiskey lounge with cigars and shit. Mm-hmm. Look like you just want to go there to have fun and party. Sound like you some know, classes, eat. yeah, yeah. That, but but when, because they developed it with that in mind, like a room for a space for incubating ideas, it kind of gets you in a different mindset when you go there. You're like, all right, I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna have fun, but I'm also here to you know network with people and mingle and just see what type of ideas are going on here in the city. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it do sound like some shit like that, right? It's pretty new. Like I think they, like they 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 came out this year. Shout out to Mike Hopkins. Uh, he 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 told me about it before they opened. I don't know if the renovation had even started on it. It was a building that I I believe they renovated it and they turned it into that. Mm-hmm. And now it opened, and I think it's, it's been open for a few months. And one of the things they do, they I mean of course they have brunch on Sundays and stuff, but they also have events there as well. Oh shit! Well, like, what you mean? Like, like people throwing events, or they're actually throwing that. So you can do that. You can you can host birthday parties and different type of events there. But they also have a calendar of events that they curate throughout the month. Like I, I wrote down a couple for September. Like on September fourteenth is gonna be Latin night. Oh yeah, see, you know I used to be a Latin. Shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> nigga Did you for real? Like, oh hell yeah, nah. hell nah. Here it is. You know, how to, <clears throat> nah, they, no, what you, what you, what you, what you think it's it. gonna be? What, what is it gonna be like? Like dancing and shit, lame. or they gonna be playing like music and it's music and dance. But I only know that from looking at the like the cover that they have for the event on the on the website. Mm-hmm. It's like a lady dancing and shit. So the most I did Latin dances when I was out in Houston, it was um um some people from Mexico mm-hmm. there, and they was you know they was playing the music and they was teaching me like she was like no do like this. 
Uh, <laughs> she was teaching me shit, so I was doing it. But that's uh, I don't really know much about it. Shit, nigga, nigga, the most lead I did, I did it. Uh, the cha cha slide, lying, bro. That's not lead. Cha cha, nigga. Cha cha, man, y'all. Oh shit. Yeah, oh, shit. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> then the lead nigga make that. He was he was mixed. He was lead in black. He's I ain't gonna lie. No, I'm like, is he for real? I don't, oh, I don't, I don't fucking know. Cause he, I thought he was just a black nigga. I thought he was too. I, I think he had like 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 some shades on and shit. I don't mm. think the nigga was lead. But ain't the cha cha ain't that some lead and shit. I was like, like joking, like shut the fuck up. But I think you're right. Look, I yeah, think Cha Cha Victor, Victor Cruz used to do the Cha Cha. Is that what he was doing? Any, any, any um Latin? I don't he fucking, is. I don't fucking know. He, he's some sort of Hispanic or yeah. Latin. I don't know the term. Don't whoop my ass, guys. But, <laughs> I don't, don't know. <laughs> don't cancel me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Latin versus Hispanic, but yes, and there are a lot of people who like that. Like, not even like you don't have to be a uh, Latin. You know, of Spanish descent person mm-hmm. that want to go out and dance. Yeah, no, nah, not nah, for real. Yeah, and that should be smooth as a bitch too. Yeah, I that's what like they be you, doing on with dancing with the stars and shit. Yeah, if you can learn that, that should like level you up, like as a person. Just yeah. like, all right, as a person, but as a black nigga, to be able to walk <laughs> in there and do that shit, you like, a different type of nigga, bro. Yeah, you a different type of nigga. <laughs> me, Olay. And <laughs> me and that bitch turnt, bro. Olay. Yeah, bro. Oh shit! <laughs> you dumb. Bro. I'm just thinking. Of, I'm, you I'm, dumb, bro. I'm thinking of some movie with Ben Stiller, bro. <laughs> ben Stiller doing some shit like that, bro. What, what movie was that? He had the rose in his mouth, and he was like, Ben Stiller. <laughs> Yo, what shit, bro? I don't know, I don't bro. Know what shit. Anyway, <laughs> all right. That's September 14th, Latin night. September 23rd, they have Adrian Crutchfield coming for live music. Let me look that one up again. I don't remember what type of music that is. That's Adrian Peterson, brother. He's hey. going there to knock it out. No. <laughs> hey, rest in peace, Adrian hey, Peterson. T- <laughs> hey, chill out, nigga. Rest in peace, Adrian Peterson, bro. He just got knocked the fuck out, bro. Yeah, hey, that's just sad, bro. It's sad, Shit. bro. I don't like. Don't just go into boxing <laughs> and think you could train for like three months and now you're going to fight, bro. Don't do it, bro. Don't do look it. Who he, look who he's boxing. Leave me on bail. Okay. But did you see his training? Nah, bro. He was looking good. He was. Yeah, he was bro, looking I, good. I, I'm telling you, I didn't know that they was boxing, bro. I almost forgot about it because I saw months ago where, like, they were. I remember seeing it, bro. I, I guarantee you, if you go in our chat and, like, in our text message thread, it's in there. You send it in there. I'm sure I we did. I don't remember bro. that shit, Either bro. Either you sent it or I sent it. But I, remember the, I remember the Nick Young and the Blue Face Junk. I remember, um,. Who else, bro? It was some other fight, bro. That I already, it already happened. It want the the Jake Paul shit. <laughs> it might it might have been the Jake Paul shit. Might have been that. I don't it know, was bro. another. It was another fight though. Some other fight so, that bro. happened. I, I, I think it's in our text thread somewhere, but some other don't fight do happened. it. Like you know what? Do what you want to do. That's number one. Do what you want to do. But number two, think about what the fuck you're doing. Like, this ain't... But you know what? You can't tell these guys that because they are the prime athlete in their sport. But so like, they're Superman. They think they can do anything, bro. No, bro. Because, like, bro, they got this swaggy P junk. He fought somebody. He was looking crazy. He got beat up. He got knocked out. Yeah, please find that. Please find yeah, that bro. while I pull the, the, the broom... Blind <laughs> website. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know the words, y'all. Sorry. Yeah. What's um, Brun? Think about it. it's Brun, nigga. Fuck. <laughs> Man is a bit. Everybody always says it. <laughs> <laughs> ah. You know that's black owned too, right? Yeah. Yeah. What was I going to? Oh, okay. I was going to the events calendar to see who this Adrian Crutchfield guy is. Okay, so he looks like he's playing a saxophone. The first show is at 7 p.m., September 7th. Then he got a second show at 9.30. $40 per show. So why are you pulling it up? Agent Crossroad is performing two shows in one day at... <laughs> excuse me. Brun. Brun. I'm going to say Brun, bro. And I'm not going back and forth. It's Brun. Brun. The first show begins at 7 p.m. Okay, Persian chicken say. All right, great. You found it? Are you trying to find it? You trying to find a part? Nick Young, bro. 
People, we liked you. We liked you, bro. <laughs> and you gonna come out this bitch? Who, who, who is this guy? Minute. Oh shit! Oh shit! He knocked him out the ring. Ah, oh, my mouth, my mouth, bro. Chill, bro. I don't, I don't know what happened. My bro. mouth. Basketball. What the fuck? He's spinning this. Yeah, yeah. He fat and tired though. Look, he's fat and tired, bro. I know, I know what he's doing right now. He's just trying to keep the guy Ooh, off of him. I need to go back to basketball. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. And this is your first. I don't know if this is your first. Why are you trying to wear the fancy shorts already, bro? Get a couple look, wins look, first, bro. <laughs> get a couple of wins. Then try to get flashy, bro. Look. Ah, my mouth. My mouth. Ugh. Ugh. I can't. Ugh. My mouth. Don't do that, bro. That nigga hurt, bro. That's sad, bro. He's spinning around and shit. You got knocked out the ring. That's embarrassing, bro. September 29th, the Bruin Experience Artist Showcase. Featuring artist Amiri Richardson. Amiri Richardson Keys. I wonder who he is. He probably like a Robert Glasper type nigga. He's, he's trying to make his last name Keys because he played the piano. Uh, look, hey, look, what if this is a real name, bro? Like Alicia Key. That's why I did it. Yeah. It made me, it, it inspired me to play the piano because my last name was Keys. I knew that I, I was destined to do this and I wasn't going to do nothing else. And I knew that piano was the key of life. <laughs> it's racist. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Word. So, look, you ever been to a spot like this? We, what, what zone we went for, um, for Clad Zone? For the, oh. Yeah, that's the guy. Uh, Mona Lounge. Yeah, that's on that's on the street. Yeah, yeah Mona Lounge. That's on the street. And that was the only time I went in there and actually sat down. Like I buy cigars from, or I have bought cigars from there plenty of times. Oh, oh so it'd it be open to like you just walk. You in can just walk buy. in, and buy a cigar, and walk out. Oh damn, I ain't know that. Yeah, but that night, yeah, we walked. We, we went and sat in. But I've never been to it during the day, even though it is open during the day. I wonder if it's the same type of thing like this. I don't know. But I do think that is an underserved audience here in, in Richmond because only thing people think about when you want to go for like a, an experience like that is Mona Lounge. Yeah, this is... Yeah, I never heard of this one though. No, it's brand new. It's not even a year oh, old. So, it's not uh, even a year old. Yeah. Oh, no, I said it was in style weekly. Yeah. Yeah, and like even before it opened, they had like different press releases and shit. Like they went on that show that I went on, Twelve About Town, and they did a they did a segment on them. Uh, before they opened the um, Junk Up, My, I don't know if it was before or if it was like right at the beginning, like right when they opened. Yeah. Let me look at them. Let's see if I can find their whiskey menu. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's look at the Come bar. On, I'm on the bar menu Wilson, right now. Wilson. Charles Wilson and Adam Evans. What? <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. No, I said it say co owners Charles Wilson, Wilson <laughs> and Adams Adam Evans. Remember when I said Charles Charlie Wilson? Wilson? <laughs> yeah, you did say that shit earlier. It's Charles, not Charlie. You know he be saying that shit. Yeah. <laughs> he be selling it. It's Charles, not Charlie. The correct one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this shit bro. hey, look, bro. Say Monday. Tuesday codes, Wednesday, Thursday, five to ten, Friday through Saturday, five to twelve. Mm. Oh, they'd be open to twelve. Yeah, I'm going through some of their whiskeys now. They have a few Japanese selections. Yama Yamazaki. They have Suntory Toki. Nika Kofe. I'm trying to pronounce this shit right. <laughs> 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 Hey, shut up, bro. <laughs> coffee? <laughs> it's coffee, nigga. <laughs> That's how you say it, right? No, it's coffee, nigga. <laughs> Tenjaku. Oh, and then they got a few Scott. Scotch. Yo, I never knew that Scotch was just Scottish whiskey. Oh, that's, oh, that's what they that's mean? That's all it is, bro. I oh, was like, shit. Scotch? Where's the Scotch? It's just Scottish whiskey. Oh shit! It'd be like some fancy shit. Scotch, please. Scotch on the rocks. Yeah, but see, all right. So now a couple of the scotch options. 
uh, damn, Glenn Farkless, Glenn Farkless, uh, Oban, Oban, I don't know how to say it, uh, Talisker, the Distillers Edition, okay, Talisker 10, read that one, bro, you, you see, you, you see Talisker 10, what's that shit mm-hmm. say under there? I'm I'd, I'd big. I'd, I don't know what that is. Ard big. That's actually pretty know, good. Ard big. Ard big. Ten year. Oh, I can't read that, bro. L a p h r o a i g. Lafroig. 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 Some Russian shit. Nah. Where we at? Uh, Glenn Livid. Balvenie, 14 years. They go to correct me. Nigga, it's Balvenie. Look, hey, bro. They, they, they gonna be, what the fuck? Get. You have no class. Oh. <laughs> Pish posh, booty bosh. <laughs> Deny his entry here, Faye says. Monkey shoulder and Spayburn 10. Now they got the Irish. Red breast 12 year and Jameson Irish whiskey. Everybody know Jameson. I'm gonna tell them niggas to get the sex then. Ooh. That's the thing I'm like, um, been uh, there, done no. that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Canadian, they got barrel whiskey, whistle pig, rye, crown royal. Ew. Okay, but then they got bourbon, they got rye, rum. Oh, they got a few rum selections. They got the yak. Shit, try some new shit there. I'm gonna try one of them Yokomotos. What that shit? Yeah, the Yaku, uh. What that shit? <laughs> Yamazaki, Yamazaki, yeah, yeah, bro. I like the Japanese culture anyway, bro. So I'm, I'm anytime I see some Japanese shit, I'm in for it. What you know about Japanese? I took three years of Japanese English, j- j- Japanese English, Japanese, bro. So like, um, while learning the language, they also taught you a little bit about culture and shit too. So what you learn? Please, please enlighten us. All right. So you ever had the fucking rice balls? It's called onigiri. It's rice ball. <laughs> <laughs> onigiri. It's a rice ball. With sushi wrapped around it. Good as fuck, bro. The green shit that be wrapped around sushi is seaweed. Goddamn. Um, them paper wall shit is fake. That shit they be having in movies that's not real. They don't. I'm bullshitting. <laughs> there you go, ahead. <laughs> um, damn, that shit was middle school, bro. And like, not, hey, listen, bro. Don't don't lie to us. What am I going to lie for? It's all right, bro. I t- uh, no, but look. Nah, anytime. Nah, I, I believe you, I know bro. you do, bro. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Any, anytime I try to do is it like it's. Some Japanese shit for me to experience, bro. I always go, I always try it. You be like, you ever heard of Yoshimitsu? <laughs> <laughs> Soul Calibur. Is that what it is? Is it Tekken? It, on both of them. He on Tekken? On both of them? I think he was, yeah, he was on Soul Calibur. Wasn't he on Tekken? Wasn't he like a samurai nigga? Yeah, he, would, he was like a, And he had well, a sword, samurai swords. Yeah, he be, like, he be different, John. He not real, but he like a... I don't know if he was like yeah. a robot. Not, not a, he robot, a robot, but something. He is a robot. He hit him a in cyborg. a couple different jumps. Yeah. yeah. But see, I ain't know he was cross brand like that. Yeah, when he on Tekken, he was, I think so. I think it was Tekken. I fucking know. Yeah, bro, he was on Tekken and so Cali. For real? Yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. Bro. Did the same company make it? I don't really need no, to know bro, that right yeah. now, but I was just asking. That shirt kind of sweet, bro. You be finding some sweet shit, like bro. This, I got this shit from Target. That shit look like you work there. Yeah, this the uh, one. Where movie this shit come from? Nigga don't need Pizza Planet. Um, Nigga don't need no. Yes, I do, bro. At the end, it was a giant shit. At the end, bro, wanted wanted something. Um, dude, where's my car? Hell nah, no. Oh, oh shit, yeah, you remember that shit? Yeah. Now this Toy Story. Oh. I remember that shit. Oh, I thought it was Pizza Planet. Pizza. Okay, Toy Story. Who you already say? They got. Oh, nah, they got the brunch. You saw the menu? Yeah. No, nah, I ain't see the menu, but they had a brunch today. They did. Yeah. This shit. Yeah, this shit look alright, bro. Yo ass steak, steak in there. Yeah, I'm there for the steak, and they got me, bro. When they when I saw the picture of their fucking the for the first picture I saw of the food, bro. They had that steak cooked just right. That no, shit was no, pink no. as a bitch. Look right here. You like that shit? Yes, sir. What that shit called right there? I don't know what that is. What that shit called, bro? You know what it's that a, is? Uh, it's some shit, bro. So what is it? Steak with something on over top of it? Yeah, like they rolled that junk. They rolled the bread. They roll that shit up in the little plastic paper. I mean, the plastic um shit. Then they put that bread shit on there. What that shit called, bro? Uh, I'm looking at the menu now. I've never heard of that, but I'm looking there. Oh, they got lamb. 
I'm there for the lamb, bro. She's called Beef Wellington. Beef Wellington. These That's niggas trying to show did. off. They trying to show off. Some fancy niggas. have some Beef Wellington, hey. sir. Hey. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and a... Um, a I'm go- <laughs> going to this sheet chattish as a bitch. <laughs> Yes, a spot of tea. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> do you get <understand? laughs> Nah, look, they got motherfucking French toast breakfast platter. I'm rather parched. Yes. Please excuse me. I need to use the lavatory. <laughs> To cleanse my palate. <laughs> Could I offer you some grape poupon? <laughs> Would you like some more dirt? <laughs> hey, <you> child. <laughs> Yo, I just invested in my four hundred one k. Yo, I'm crying. Bro. Hey, shut up, bro. I'm crying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> The market is up 2%. <laughs> I am <laughs> I'm rather ecstatic. <laughs> He's naked. <laughs> Grow up, bro. This whiskey is aged 100 years in the barrel. My grandfather made it with this barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> shit. Bro. Oh, look, hey. They got an oatmeal power bowl. What is that? Oh, they got oh, so oatmeal that's... berries, house made granola, honey. Hey man, hey, I've never seen a nigga serve oatmeal at brunch. Hey, I'm here for it though. That's cool. Yeah, they got carrot souffle. Oh shit! Lemon bars, nigga. You know what souffle is? No, me neither. I'm about to look that <laughs> shit up. Carrot souffle. Where you, where you see that steak? Where you see that steak? At? It was on the front page. Like it was just like one of the, one of their pictures on the front page. That ad, that's the like it says restaurant. Oh yeah, it's something fancy, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna go to this shit. Look, this is a carrot souffle. Nigga. Okay, I mean that ain't for me. But. <laughs> 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 All right, one more, bro. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I seem to have forgotten which pants I've left my ten million dollars in. <laughs> hey, <son. laughs> oh, I seem to have placed my <laughs> my ten million. <laughs> Shut up, bro! <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> he dead. He said, "I've seen the misplaced." <laughs> Hey, shut up, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we did the... They got the... <clears throat> the events and shit. That was cool reading off the menu. That's some... some uh, Carrot souffle. God damn. So, obviously, this is a place... You're going to put some nice shit on when you walk in here. Mm-hmm. Don't try to pull up in here. I don't know if they got a dress code, but don't come here in no fucking white tee, V-neck... Oh shit! Some fucking Jabo jeans. Hey, shut up, bro. <laughs> and some fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it, the, these gentlemen made a huge effort in making this making this uh, experience. So come and enjoy, come and enjoy the experience, and try to look good too when you go there, nigga. Yeah. I'll try yeah. to be up in there. Hey, I heard y'all niggas got that fucking carry souffle, nigga. Oh shit! Hey, don't go in there like that, bro. Let me get that shit, bro. <laughs> oh no, nah, they got a dinner menu too. Yeah, this shit. Hey, bro. Dinner. Yeah, they got the bubbles. Yeah, bro. I saw that, but I ain't look into that. The bubbly, the the whites and the rosé, the reds. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah. Exclusive white blend, California. And you into wine and shit now too. I'm, I'm trying to get into that hey, shit. Hey, bro, bro. you should go. T- shit. You should go to this. It was just wine. I asked my girl the name of this. I cannot remember what the shit was. It was some wine event with these popsicles. That shit was good. Y'all like it? Popsicles? Gonna... No, they put the popsicle in the wine, bro. Trust me, bro. It sound. I'm just fucking good, bro. Trust me. Ch-ch-ch. 
Big <laughs> big game. <laughs> All right, let's move on, bro. Uh, I'll go ahead and bring up this next one because this was my experience, bro. So I was helping my girl move, and I opened up a box, and guess what I see in a box? Oh, bro. A Nintendo 64. I'm yeah. like, what the fuck you doing with a six? You got a 64? He was probably happy. As I was bit. bugged, bro. I was like, oh shit, because my se- I gave my 64 to my brother for Christmas. This was fucked up. This was a Christmas. We ain't get shit for Christmas. So uh, niggas was trying to wrap gifts and give shit to each other, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this shit is. I'm not laughing at this shit. I'm laughing. That was a <laughs> real, laughing. My pain. Come that on. Was, that was <laughs> that was a Christmas, bro. We ain't get. Yeah. <laughs> and we knew we won't get the shit. <laughs> but look, dude, it's, it's not funny. He said he was rapping <laughs> shit to get each other, bro. That shit sad as a bitch. I can't believe that happened. But anyway, I gave that nigga my N64, bro. And so he got it. And it, I really love that shit, bro. So when I saw she had a 64, I was hyped. But that shit took me back to my childhood. Oh, shit. So it had I, all the chords and shit. All the chords, nigga. And a controller. And games. It was like five games. So, you could just play right immediately. But when I started to play, like some of the game, like most of the games she had, I never had them shits except for that Tony Hawk. I did have that shit, mm. but so it made me start thinking, like, yo, I gotta buy games with this shit, bro, because I'm gonna be playing this shit. And I was looking for Mario Party, Smash Brothers, Pokemon Stadium, all that shit. So I looked at a different, I, I Google different retro gaming stores in Richmond. And one that came up was Dawnstar. Dawnstar, they're downtown, right off the boulevard, pretty close to where the 7-Eleven is, not quite all the way to the corner, but the street, if you're on boulevard going toward the 7-Eleven with the baseball stadium behind you, you're going to make a right on mm. some street, and they're like one block off of that. Is that across from the Chinellos? I don't know where the Chinellos is down there. Oh, it would be like on the... Um... Yeah, I don't know. But I've looked in different places for... Make sure I get Dawnstar video games. I've looked in different locations for Nintendo 64 games. Niggas just don't be having them, bro. They yeah. don't be having them. This was the biggest selection of Nintendo 64 games I've ever seen. It ain't huge. You're not going to walk into like, woo, like... But you got a nice, nice selection to choose from. Like, I'm, I'm going to just roughly maybe 80 games. So did they did they only just have Nintendo sixty four no, game? No, no, they had shit. Super Nintendo, they had PlayStation, they had I believe they had Dreamcast in there too, bro. They had Game Boys, they had Game Boy games, they had N sixty four controllers, they had arcade games like for sale. You can buy the box, take the arcade game home, put that shit in your fucking crib. Oh shit! They had just a lot of shit. I didn't really pay attention to everything they had because I was only coming for one thing. I was coming for N64, and that's all I cared about. That's all I was looking at. But I think I saw some Sega. I think I saw some 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 Sega consoles. I for sure saw GameCube. I for sure saw... I think I saw a Dreamcast in there, too. Yeah, I see Sega Genesis, John Gray. Oh, you on, you on the shit? Yeah. Bruh. This shit, hey... <clears throat> You know what's weird, bro? And you can understand this, bro. A lot of gaming stores that I've went into, customer service is not there, bro. The people, like, number one, GameStop. I hate going to a GameStop. I hate, GameStop. I hate going there, bro. I don't know what the fuck application process they put these niggas through, but they always hire people who are just not personable. They don't know how to talk to you immediately. Sometimes if you start talking, then they can kind of work up to it, but customer service is never there. The guy that fucking was at Dawnstar, and I think he was the owner. Mm. This nigga, nigga, it was a pleasure walking in there and talking to this <laughs> nigga about games, bro. I swear to God, bro, it was so refreshing to talk to somebody who wasn't like, no, yeah, we don't have, um, they're over there. You can go over there and look. This nigga was engaging me, bro, like about shit. Like we talked about wrestling for like 10 minutes before I even got into what the fuck I was trying to do. And it was because like his personality like invited that shit. I think I saw like the WCW game or some shit, and we he just went off and took because he's a wrestling fan and shit. Oh shit! <clears throat> so that shit made you feel like oh shit, like like the animated feel like the nigga knew what he was gonna be like talking about. Bro, yes, bro. I wanted like to spend money there, bro. The, yeah, I wanted to spend money there. I went there to spend like sixty dollars, but I spent more. 
I was like, I'm not spending more than 60, but I did it, bro, because I was like, this experience was worth it, bro. It's worth it to walk in here and not have to deal with an asshole. They you get, um they got like warranties on on shit. So I bought an N64 game and it was like if it's messed up within seven days you can take it back. Oh, and he wow. said that rule is in place because it's seven days because people will beat the game and try to take it back. Yeah, They're like oh, I don't want it no more. It's not working. So he put that 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 window on it. But that's the the reason it's there. That's the reason it's that short. Oh yeah, I see. See. But them games used to be long though. Like games used to be yeah. long back then. Though, like bro. Zelda, I don't know how long it is. I never played it when I was a kid. Yeah, I can admit no. Oh, I was about to I'm say. I'm never gonna get it because I don't even care about it. Yeah, nah. I did buy. I bought the Breath of the Wild shit for the um the Switch. I'm gonna buy me a Switch soon. But but like that's it though. I ain't, I ain't playing nothing old. Shit. Yeah, and that's why I even brought the topic up because I know you in your little mode of like buying yeah. old shit too. Yeah, how did that start bro. for you? Um, shit. Um. Bro, I don't know, bro. Or not. Nah, I think I I think I um I was trying to find a PS3 that had the backwards compatible jumps cuz I wanted to play some PS3 shit. So I was like, man, I PS2. Not a yeah, they, they had right. the PS the backwards compatible jump. So I was like, let me let me um look those up. But then I ended up finding the PS2 and I was like, shit, I want to play the old God of War. <clears throat> I just started thinking the shit I wanted to right, play. Right, And then I just started buying all them jumps. And then I, I go on YouTube and I look up, like, the rarest games or the, the top games. Yeah. Because I ain't just want to, like, of course I was going to buy the old shit I played. But I wanted to buy the shit that I ain't think about. Speaking of PlayStation, did you ever get Spyro? I, I, I didn't get it. I played that shit, though. I had a demo disc. That shit probably, like, 150 and it's worth it. Spyro. Yeah. But that shit, it came back out, though. For, um, Maybe I don't know. I don't was know. Was it like it the PS4 or PS3? Then that shit, then Spiral come back out. That's a game that I got all the way to the end and never finished it. That's I got it. a lot of games like that that I just gotta finish. Crash Bandicoot <clears throat> was my shit. Yeah, Crash I, Bandicoot. I never finished that's that. That's another one. You know, I ain't finished San Andreas until I was like 27. <laughs> <laughs> I was grown. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Well, I'm pulling up the website bro. now. Trying to think, cause like it's like I, it's like, like when I when I like I ain't become a gamer till I got older. Like when I was young, I was playing like generic shit, bro. I was playing Madden, Lad, Rayman, Street. No, I wasn't even playing that shit, bro. <laughs> I was playing like sports games, Fight Night. Right. Then I, I get the Grand Theft shit. Then every once in a while I venture off like get the Jet Li junk when they came out. Yeah. Or like um. Like like if I went to movie gallery or EB Games and they had to use games, I'd buy some shit of sports games. Yeah, some shit of cheap shit like two ninety nine. But I, I ain't never like I, I ain't had a sweet. I ain't like I, I ain't motherfucking. I ain't even know what was sweet. Like yeah. what games? Like I said, I told you I ain't know about God of War. Yeah, I ain't. I don't know how. I ain't know about that shit. But yeah, yeah, I don't know how that shit was big when it came out. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bro. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Hey, you know what know. else is funny, bro? What? So I had an N64, right? I don't even know how I was getting games for them. For the, for the I, just, I just don't remember it's, like it's my parents shit. buying games, bro. I don't remember how that shit was happening. Bro, hey, they, hey. <laughs> Think about shit. it, bro. Games just like, oh, I'm, I played it. How? I got it. How you got it? Oh, shit. The, the, the game for it. Right. <laughs> shit. Your friend had that shit. I don't know. Yeah, niggas will let you borrow. Yeah, that's it. I don't know, bro. That's how I got a game. My first Game Boy. One of them yeah, gray jumps. Too. One of my See, one of my I niggas gave Boy. me a jump. Nigga, I had a Game Boy and a Game Boy Advance. Oh, the, the um, And my my jump. parents never bought it. <laughs> oh shit, that shit came out of nowhere. <laughs> it just I don't I can't remember how I got it, bro. Oh, I had the purple, the see through purple Game Boy Advance. I had the, the the gray Game Boy that was black and white, no color. Yeah. And then I had the green ahead. Game Boy color. Oh shit. Oh shit. I had Pokemon, the, whatever the one was Pikachu. At, was it called Yellow or was I it just that, Pokemon? I don't know. I don't know what it was called. I remember the Yellow um Jane though. Yup, yeah, bro. I had shit. And then I remember it was one time this nigga let me borrow a game, and I was telling people I'ma steal it. Oh. I'ma steal it. And they, oh no, no, that's not what happened. See, I'm see, this is this is wrong. I took it, and then I was on a bus, like flashing it, like, yeah, look. 
Look, yeah, I stole it. <laughs> oh, shit. And then it was my friends. I can't remember who. It, if I remember who it was, I would say the name and be like, that's fucked up. But he was at the back of the bus. And then somehow word got all the way back to him that I had. And I was like, no, I'm borrowing it. And he was like, oh, all right. Oh, oh you yeah, think it was you gave it back? I can't remember. I think I did give it back, though. Oh, but shit. I think I did give it back. Figures it was shit. fucked up. I shouldn't have did that, bro. Stealing this shit. No, yeah, no, like, no, what I'm saying? No, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck? That's a little kid <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> I stole it. No, nah, no. Nah, <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. So, you're building your collection of old shit, old games and shit. Like, have you went to any any stores? To buy shit Nah yeah I need, I need to um, Check out Bro check, check these out. niggas out For sure Yeah need, Check these niggas out For sure out. They yeah. even got like a um, Oh my bad Go ahead You try to say No, nah, I was about to say I was looking at their joint They got hella games In their um, In their joint They got some shit And they got like a little uh, Arcade room You can pay $10 You can go in that bitch all day And just play on the arcade Bro, they, I went in there, but they got this fucking. You paid ten dollars for this. No, shit? he was like, do that it, shit, was, it was my first time going in there. He was like, "Yo, check it out, go look." And it's like pinball games, like fucking maybe twelve other like like arcade games. They had this shit from Japan. Like it was only released in Japan. It was a Dragon Ball Z like fighting game. Like you know, with the joystick and the, the buttons. Yeah. I've never seen this shit, but that shit looks sweet as a bitch. See, yeah, that's just. That's sweet, then he told me the story. He was like, he saw this shit somewhere online, and he was like, he stopped everything he was doing, bro. He was like, I'm getting a U-Haul truck and I'm driving to Ohio to get this shit. He drove to Ohio and put that shit in a fucking U-Haul and drove it back here. Like that, that shit right there. That's the one. That's yeah, the one I'm telling you about shit? right there. Yeah, it's two together. It's like the Dragon Ball Z was on the left. I don't know what that is on the right side of it. But you can see the Japanese letters on it. That shit looks sweet. That, the, the, the clarity shit on that shit. Sweet. I'm telling you, bro. Like, you talking about the unit looks yeah. sweet. Nigga, the clarity of the screen. I was like, how did they get that to look like that? Normally, shit be looking like 8-bit. Yeah. Like, nah, that shit look good, bro. It look good. Nah, this shit sweet. They had the Pokemon cards in it. But they, they been giving Pokemon cards out in the um, Happy Meals. Now? Yeah, But bro. you remember that's how it used to be, too. The Pokemon cards. I ain't, yeah. no, I ain't never got nothing to Happy Meal. I think I did, bro. Do you bro. remember? Who was somebody just asked me about this? You remember the gold cards that came in like Burger King or some shit? It would come. You like you would you would get the meal, the kids meal, and it's a Pokeball, and then you I, open oh, yeah. it, and, and it's a gold, gold piece. Yeah. yeah, you remember that shit? Yeah, I had one of them shits. I had one too. I I ain't had nothing sweet though. I had like. I think mine was Pikachu or something. I don't remember. I remember what it was. that shit. The Pokeballs with these little yeah. gold junk in there. Bro, yeah. That was a different world, bro. Oh my god, bro. I missed that shit, bro. The Pokeballs was sweet. They was making them shits everywhere. Yeah, like different kinds of junk. Yeah. What do you think your next buy is gonna be? What game wise? Yeah. I don't know, cause it's a whole lot of new shit coming out. So like I'm, I, I, I kind of put a pause I'm on. Yo, you put a pause on the old shit. Yeah. Oh, cause, okay. cause a whole lot of new shit shit been coming out. Um, but like the only. Cause like, like I said, the only shit that I want is a Nintendo. Like you got a Nintendo sixty four, and for that I want to get the Super Smash Brothers. I want to get um, what else I want to get for the Nintendo joint? What they got that Pokemon with like Snap junk or something? You talking on the Switch? No, on the um, Nintendo sixty four. Yeah, yeah, Snap. I want to get I'm that old junk. Hey, Pikachu, so I can cuss that nigga out again. That's what bro. this. Oh shit! I want. I want to get that shit. I ain't, I ain't never have it. Bitch, I, you know, you motherfucker. Listen, you fucking bitch, <laughs> bitch at you, Pika bitch. Nah, I want to get. I want to get the Dreamcast so I can. Yeah. That Power Stone shit because I looked it up. I was like, that looks sweet. Yeah. I think it was the Sonic junk on there. Sonic that Adventure. I seen before, yeah. Sonic Adventure. I want to get That's that. The they got a new Sonic coming out. That's gonna look crazy. It look like like a real world. On what? Think on like like Xbox. And it's like GTA for Sonic head ass. Bro, look that junk up. But um, but yeah, I'm I'm eventually get them systems and look back at some old games. I might get like the Rampage junk. I was just talking yeah. about that shit last night. I'm getting. It. I need to find that. That junk, bro. You can find that junk. Um, I played the fuck up. Hey, bro, I might get like a, a a Madden '98 or something. Or like yeah. I might get like an old sports junk. You can go right now to what well, they probably closed now. 
second and Charles. I was just there two days ago. They had like three Maddens, like Madden 64, Madden 90 something, $14. See, yeah. But it's Madden 64. I, I, yeah. That, that's, 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 that's a good price too. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. That's that, that's that, that's the only old shit that I like, I'm not getting it. I probably won't get it no time soon, or, or maybe like like Christmas. Like I, I might I might wait till winter like to get that junk. But like like I've been getting new shit. Like I I bought fucking two K. Yeah. I bought the Last of Us junk, the remake. It just came out. Oh uh, yeah, bro. But <laughs> like, there's, there's a whole lot of shit coming out, bro. I remember the nigga said when um the Madden came out on sixty four. <laughs> this is this old nigga I knew. He was older. <laughs> he was like when that shit came out on sixty four and Deion Sanders smiled on <laughs> <and> that shit. <laughs> he was like that shit real. <laughs> Man, that shit probably looked like motherfucking paper. <laughs> that shit probably looked like this. That shit look real. <laughs> like bro, that shit look like shit, bro. Just like when I I went back, like when I played Vice City, I yeah. was like, oh bruh, shit. I think I I looked at videos of that shit. I was like, we used to think this shit look real as a bitch, bro. Play that shit. That, that shit, shit look gonna hurt. Stupid. Even San Andreas, like the sky be looking. That shit be looking fake, bro. And cars literally, bro. Them shits just be showing up, spawning yeah. in front of you, bro. Yeah. That shit make you throw up, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. Shit be looking fake. Even like um. Like 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 what other zone, <clears throat> bro? Like I I thought I thought like NBA two K six like when for the, when the three sixty came out, I thought that zone looked so real. I yeah. thought like like two K look real, lab yeah. look real. That zone look like crap, bro. Yeah. Hey, what was the one when it was like <laughs> doing the crossover? Yeah, they kept doing. You was know that, what I'm talking about? You know the, what I'm talking about? Uh, well, live. That might have been live. Was it when they had like the new crossover stick or something? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Oh, was it was it for the was it for the new systems for the Xbox One was, and PS4? No. Or was it, it was, it was older than that? Niggas was in middle school. So this would have been oh middle school. This would have yeah. been PS. This would have been PS One. This probably was live then. This probably would have yeah, been like live. Like live oh four. Yeah. Some shit like with that. Like Vince Carter or O three or some shit. I remember that shit now because it had the, the the crossover jump. Yeah. I remember when they, yeah, when they made the crossover shit just came out, but it was a shit. They they even had it in like the trailer. I Nigga remember was like, that shit. Yeah, he was going back and yeah, forth. I think that was like 06 or something. <laughs> it was like live 06. I don't know if it was that, 06, that, bro. I don't know. Because 06 was the dunk contest, wasn't it? Nah, that was 05 with Carmelo. 06 wow. had D Wade on there, but it had like niggas had modifiers. So they had like special shit that they did. Uh, like niggas had like a shot. I don't know which one it was. Yeah, I don't know. That just made me think of it. I remember that. I remember that shit on the trailer. Though. Yeah, I remember that shit. I can't wait to do that. Yeah, <laughs> bro. It's not the game now. That shit used yeah, to feel is. so good, bro. Yeah. Playing games. You better see. I was just telling my girl that it's like it ain't even the same now. Like playing the game. Even like the old shit. Like I told, her, I went and bought Smash Brothers, and it made me feel like a kid again, bro. I felt like when I had a sixty four and I was a kid, and I was like. This shit fun. Yeah. Play that shit for like twenty minutes, and I was like, "All right, what's next?" <laughs> Maybe you probably got to scream or do something. You got to have a reason for playing that shit. I think I'm just too old, bro. Bro, I, I was thinking the same shit, bro. I was thinking the same shit. It's like, like with the new systems, I'm liking because I'm, I'm liking the way it's looking and playing. It's like, oh shit, I ain't. I, I was. I remember thinking like, what the fuck is games gonna be when niggas get yeah. older? But playing the old shit, it just be like. I don't know. It, no. It's like, I I definitely gotta make myself play it, but it's like once I get into it, like the God no. of War shit, that shit hurt. The old shit is better to me. That, that, than that, the new that, shit. That shit hurt to play, bro. Really? What new shit you playing on new shit, but, bro? That's the thing. I'm not even. It's not even. The shit is just not even drawing bro. me to it, bro. It's not even. If you, if you looked at some of this shit, like you played some shit, you about like, oh shit, like like you played like. <clears throat> shit ain't like, even. Like the Last of Us Part One remake came out. Like, like you played that shit like on the PlayStation, you'll be like, bro, that like know. that shit. Even the Part Two, that shit really make you feel like you gotta survive. You really be killing niggas, and they like you really choking nigga out, and he be like, nigga eyes be rolling back, and then it, somebody to come around, they be like, you just killed. They be like, Jeffrey, oh no, I'm gonna fucking kill you. And like the niggas really be like mad. Like you really be like, oh shit. That's crazy. That That's shit. A- that shit real. Like. Bruh, everything about that shit is sweet. But that's why I even just downloaded the, like the old Resident Evil games because it ain't that, but it's a it's a certain feel to it that that shit is actually scary. Yeah, that shit is actually feel like you gotta like you be like oh shit that shit fine. Yeah, 
Nah, that, bro, but that that's that's it though. Them old shits feel it feel different. Like even like old three sixty games I play, yeah. if it, it feel it feel good. Like what the fuck was I playing on three sixty? I was playing Max Payne three. Oh yeah, that shit was sweet, bro. I was like, yo, I, I was like, I was like, what three. the fuck? I don't remember this shit. Yeah. I don't, rem- I don't even remember that shit, bro. Yeah, I, I was like, this shit sweet I as a bitch though. Three. And then it looked. I was like, bro, this how three sixty <laughs> games look? They look real <laughs> like this? What the fuck? Yo, I don't know, bro. Yeah, it's yeah, it's 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 just different now. I'm gonna read a little bit of the story of Dawnstar. So Dawnstar began in 2018 when three friends came together with the idea of opening their brick and mortar store after growing the brand of a popular arcade bar in Richmond, Virginia. Since opening in 2019, we have been humbled by the support of our community. Your passion makes the stars shine brighter every day. <clears throat> Me, Andrew, JRPG. What the fuck is that? You know what that is? What? A Japanese RPG, probably. Oh, JRPG. JRPG anime fan, obsessed with everything. Harlock. I'm going to say it wrong. Harlock. I'm saying Harlock. It's probably Harlock. Harlock, Devil Man. His favorite Pokemon was Mr. Mime until he saw Pump Kaboo. Who the fuck is Pump Kaboo? That was a, um, it was a, like a pumpkin on Halloween. You well, <laughs> I remember these like Mr. Mine, that nigga gay, he gay ass. You remember that <laughs> shit? Um, Pumpkin Wise, chill on, he's deep. Meet Dakota. Okay, so I probably met. I don't know who I met. Oh, if it's these three, I probably met Andrew. I'm just guessing off of this description. So meet Dakota. Platforming professional and game trivia madman, Sonic is his number one jam. Dragonite is his favorite Pokemon. Meet Megan, puzzle game obsessive, and Ace Attorney stand all day long. Her favorite Pokemon is Ditto. Meet Fred. That's four people. One, two, three, four. Meet Fred, fight him game virtuoso, and meet drinking streamer. His favorite Pokemon is Total Down. Okay. All right, shout out to y'all, man. I'm just going to say, it was a great experience going in that store, bro. That's, it was a great experience. I ain't going to lie. <clears throat> but that's good, dude. Because, like, like, especially, like, 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 like you, you're a gamer, so you already know this shit. But it could be new people just getting into that shit. And, like, yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? Be, like, dealing with an asshole. Yeah. Like, like you pose, I already know. This is fucking... Sonic, bro. This is yeah. Sonic wasn't made on the fucking, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, or some shit like that. So yeah, <laughs> now nah, you know niggas, niggas do be assholes like like, like like he. <laughs> 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 hey, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> no, nah, look, like I'm saying. So look, just real quick, I called another prominent store. Like I, I called Bits and Pixels like right before I went to this store, and I asked if they had. Any, I was looking for N64 game. The nigga act like he ain't had no time for me on the phone. Like maybe he didn't, maybe he was doing some shit. But that shit, like, I ain't want to go see. I don't want to yeah. go see what you got, bro, because you ain't had no time for me, bro. You rushed me off the phone. I'm trying to come in and spend money. You like, um, uh, we don't have it. I was like, all right. So how do I know if um, how do I know when y'all got coll- when, when y'all have something? Yeah, we normally post it up. That was it. And I was like, post it up in in the middle of me saying post it up where he was like, okay. I was like, all right. Oh, Bye. yeah, he was trying to. That was it, bro. Like, maybe he had something to do, bro. Maybe I don't know if he had an emergency, whatever. All I'm saying is, that ain't service. This was service. These niggas gave me some great fucking service, and I'm going oh, back. Oh, he tried to fucking start up. No, that's what happened, bro. Console store. That's war. what happened, bro. Oh, that's shit. what happened, bro. Be Y'all upset. Heard that bits and pieces. Be whoever you want to d- oh, do, whatever, bro. Like, I called. Shit. And I called there before, too, bro. I don't remember how it was, but I remember this one. And then all I know is, I don't even want to go there. Damn. I don't, bro. I don't want to go there, bro. Unless I Bits go on Instagram pieces. and I see some shit that's like super sweet. He just ripped y'all. And I can't Bits get it from pieces. here. I'll go. But I'm going here first. It's a fact. He just <laughs> ripped y'all to bits and pieces. Nah, it's bits and pixels. It's stupid ass. <laughs> bits and pixels. Yeah, Shut up. Stupid ass. <laughs> nah. Freestyle topic, man. Freestyle, freestyle. You ready for a freestyle? Yeah. Little bitch ass tricks. So that fucking bitch, you better get out my. Hold on. I tell that motherfucker. I told that bitch, she better sit on. 
freestyle topic. Look, when I was doing it, when we was doing interviews too, and anytime I said freestyle, niggas was like, "Oh, I ain't ready to rap." Uh, <laughs> niggas, <laughs> niggas were getting niggas scared. scared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't usually freestyle. I ain't writing nothing. Hey, hey why niggas be getting scared? Like, hey. bro, that's not what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> hey, that's funny. That's funny, huh? <laughs> oh, that's what, oh, oh, you meant. Well, I thought they be telling them they gonna do that before they say it. Hey, that cut. part of the show. Cut. But it's live. <laughs> hey, <laughs> rewind that. <laughs> Start. To, oh, no, bro. Shit. Freestyle topic, bro. And I kind of thought it just on the spot as soon as you mm-hmm. got here, bro. And I'm looking over here because I got a fucking board with notes. Listen, so if you could go back through college for free. Would you have a different major than what you did? I think I personally think I would um I keep the same major, but I I, I um I think I'd pick up another minor. And I, I would have took my major more serious than what I did. Mm. I would have took my major more serious, but I I don't know. I, I think I keep the same major, I just take that shit serious. Like what? Like like the classwork or like learning about it? Like doing, <clears throat> excuse me, doing shit outside of the um, like the classwork. Like I took I took the classwork serious, but like like when my major was mascom, so it was more so like I, I needed to like kind of do shit. I needed to look for internships. I needed to mm. like you know what I'm saying kind of get involved in shit. Uh, your ass was in your dorm playing Dungeons and Dragons. No, nah, <laughs> I was a little bitch working, but nah. And like my my internship, it it kind of has something to do with like my um my major a little bit, right? But like, but not really like in the in the trenches like how I wanted to be like in it like like straight in it right like how I wanted to be right. So I think I I, I would have took it more serious. Uh-huh. What was you a minor? You say you, you would have had a different mind. So did you have a minor? Oh, no, no, I would I would have added a minor. I probably okay. picked like animation or some shit. What's the point of a minor? Like, I don't. I guess if people <clears throat> want to do like two things or some shit. Right, but you, what does that do? Does that replace like extracurricular classes or what? I thought you just. I thought that should add on more credits. I don't know. Shit. I don't know neither. I don't know. So oh, so you just take more credits? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. That shit. Just add like more shit. Hey, bro, something about college was fun, but I ain't take that shit serious. Add. College. Oh. <laughs> at what all. you mean by not taking it serious? Nigga, I didn't do. You didn't do no homework or nothing. Fuck. You ain't go to class. No, and I'm not saying it like it's funny, but I just, I'm, 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 I'm trying to emphasize how much I didn't take it serious. No. Nigga, <laughs> yeah, had fun. You went there to have fun, bro. That's what I did. That wasn't my goal. But when I got there, that's what happened. Before I knew it, <laughs> the semester was over. I was like, oh, shit. I ain't do shit. <laughs> I didn't do shit, bro. But your grades was looking like? Horrible. Oh, shit. Horrible. I think I had, uh, this is going to sound fake. Z. <laughs> <laughs> you had a Z plus. <laughs> Bro, I think I had uh, zero point. <laughs> <laughs> I think or was it a 1.7? I don't know. It was low. It was stupid low. Because I did nothing, bro. Bro. So, like, like you can So, hold on. Was that, like, midterm? Or was that, like, at the end? That was at the end? No, nah, that was midterm. That oh, was shit. midterm, yeah. I don't did remember you, what it was at the end. I you didn't get them back up? No. <laughs> no, I came into another semester and basically did the same shit. I don't know, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Because like I, I had nobody in answer to. Like I was like eighteen. I had just turned eighteen. Matter of fact, when I got dropped off of college, I was seventeen. Mm-hmm. So I, I turned eighteen. So eighteen, nineteen, but I had nobody to answer to, bro. I was out of state. Literally, nobody was in that state that I knew. I was the only person from where I was. From my well, not really. It was other people there, but I ain't know them. Like yeah. I didn't know them from Richmond, but it was just 
it was a new experience, bro. Like I never had that type of freedom where I could I can do literally whatever the fuck I want. I could wake up and be like, ah, oh, I'm too tired to do anything. And I didn't like, I didn't you, have to. I didn't have to, bro. This nigga stay sleepy. Yeah, cause one of the gonna say, T-Mon, if you don't <clears> do that, I'm gonna whoop your head. Yeah, yep. nigga just went. I'm gonna go eat breakfast, come back and go to sleep. <laughs> right. I'm gonna go eat lunch. I'm gonna go to back. the gym. I'm yeah. Gonna go play I'm gonna football. Up. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Nigga bullshit it. See, why you going to class, bro? Yep, niggas was going to class. A couple of my niggas got masters and shit. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> but I ain't. I'm not down bad. I'm doing good. Yeah. But what I'm saying like it's it's everybody got different paths and shit. Yeah. But so I was on an electrical engineering major. And I'm kind of glad I didn't finish it. Why? Because I don't know if that would have put me where I needed to be. I think what I'm doing now, I kind of have the like the ability to create what I would like what what I where I want to be. You know. So I've been mm-hmm. doing so project management is a a wider field. Then electrical electrical engineering is very specific. Engineering is engineering, but electrical engineering is that's that's a focus where you're electrical engineering. That's what you're doing. Project management can be anything. Like right now, I'm 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 in project. Well, actually, I started project managing with commercial construction. Then I went project managing to residential construction. Now I'm project managing projects that are expanding different departments within a business. Mm-hmm. I'm still in residential construction, but it is specific. It's, I'm going to say it's specific to business because systems is every business needs that. Like you can, you gotta, you gotta have training. You gotta have like integrations in every business. Yeah, it's so it's, yeah, it's, it's wider. Like I'm, I have a wider field of opportunity than I would have did with, um, Electrical engineering. Mm-hmm. So I, w- I don't know if there's a major for that. I w- if I would have knew about this shit back then, I'm glad I didn't. Because I, I probably would have fucked off just like I just did. did but, yeah. yeah, but if I knew about this, I probably, maybe I would have took it more seriously. Mm. I didn't even know what the end goal could be. I couldn't, I could kind of visualize it, but I couldn't feel it. I couldn't like know what it was with electrical engineering. So you would shit, I don't know, do they got a major in that? Would it be like some business shit? I don't know. I don't know. Because everybody I don't know if it's a business major. Yeah. Project management is its own field. That's not just a business. That's just it's not probably like a, in the projects field. Like you gotta go to the project. <laughs> Here it is. And manage the project. Yo. Yeah, I think I would. Like uh well, man, I'm only gonna say that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm only gonna say that because I know that that's who I want to be. But what was the question? What, what major? Yeah, yeah. What major wouldn't you take? I would. Yeah, I there's take? a lot that you wouldn't take. But is it some shit that you think is just so dumb? I was think dumb. Yeah, oh, it's, shit. Just, it's just not applicable to life. Yeah, damn. <laughs> Something that's oh, shit. Time, it is not applicable. Hold on, bro. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Shit. I don't know, bro. I'm trying to think because, like. And I got an answer, and I just recently go, realized why it's not. No, nah, go, go ahead, ahead bro. Because I, I can't think of one. Because every time I'd be like, are you about to think about I'd be like, nah, because you need that for this. Right. I be thinking, like, art majors is fucking dumb. Nah, or I used what? to, but it's not, bro. It's not, bro. Yeah. That that is a Are whole. Are ta- you talking about um, as far as them finding a career, or yeah? Okay, so so why I think it was dumb because I just think like there's no real tangible application to it. Like that's what I used to think. But number one is like there's an entrepreneurial aspect of it where you can you can you know develop yourself as an entrepreneur with the art that you create. Mm-hmm. But like. That's a real form of expression that is valuable to life, whether whether you want to look at it from a from a sense of like earning income and being able to support your or support yourself mm. or from an aspect of bettering yourself as a person. Art is a real that's a real field. And yeah, a lot man. of people go ahead. Go ahead. 
like the shit gets overshadowed with everybody trying to create music and everybody want to I'm, I'm gonna go make clothes and just cut them up with scissors like like the shit gets overshadowed with shit like that but mm. there's a real form of creation that is that is that can be priceless that you can develop out of that shit mm-hmm. but I never used to think that alright man that's like I, I ain't gonna say I, I thought that I used to think like 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 how how could you how could you like make money off of that like where you gonna get high right. like what you gonna be an art teacher but like like my sister in law do that and like she be doing shit at the um what's the joint the VMFA the VMFA yeah, yeah she be doing stuff there um she she was working there like um she did murals and shit and I I know like I know like if you are artist and you freelance you could definitely get paid. Especially doing murals, doing custom shit. Yeah. But like, I don't know now, like, I'm trying to think like how to say that shit. It's like, even with the internet now, it's like, it's like you could really get paid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Being yeah. an artist. Now, not everybody going to be like that big artist yep. selling yep. million dollar paintings and shit. But like, yep. you could definitely get paid, especially like digital art. You can get into the marketing field. Um, oh right, yeah, and create for brands. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Doing that shit, advertising. So it's like, is I don't know. I I, I wish I would have. I don't know. That that I I probably would have did that mm-hmm. instead of animation for my man. Let me scratch that up. That I shit. I don't know. Yeah, I just think that shit was goofy and a waste of time. Well, all right, you yeah. for real, bro? I did. I thought that was dumb. Oh shit! Nah, that that shit is like, like for example, like like think about. Think about shit that make the world go around, like doctors yeah, and yeah. shit. I right, so think about that, and then think about movies, think about music. Like, w- what do that shit yeah, that's, do? That's all. Yeah, it's it, it's entertainment. Yeah, that's what it is. And, and say what you want about entertainment. Everybody consumes that shit. I don't yeah. care if you fucking you want to be like you, Steve Jobs. Yeah, I only um I I consume one thirty minutes of shit a day. No, you don't. Just be lying. Yeah, yeah, you could sell more than that, bro. Everybody does it. Every that's so crazy. Every person in this whole world, except them niggas on that island, where they be bro. like still wearing loincloths and shit. Man, chill, bro. <laughs> and niggas, niggas probably got arrows. A, niggas got an iPad, <laughs> an iPod Touch. <laughs> First generation out that bitch. Yo, that's crazy. That touches everyone for real. Entertainment, music, movies, all of that shit. And now, goddamn, what, it be motherfuckers from different countries. Like, you be on TikTok or IG or YouTube <laughs> and shit. You just be seeing random shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Everybody be on, like, social media. Mm-hmm. So, like, like it's like entertainment. Like, even social media. Like, what is that shit? What right. is it doing? That shit, yeah. that shit is entertainment, bro. Yeah. Like, of course, niggas make businesses off of it and shit. Right. But, right. like, I don't think it was for that first like first coming out and shit right well like yeah that, that that's how i used to think of like music like art art that art form and shit yeah but yeah is this so is, is there one that you think it, that you either think now or you used to think was like some some like whack as fuck like what the fuck you doing that for trying to think fucking of something, bro. And goofy what are you doing I'm trying to think <laughs> bro Cause it's like er- everything that, like I said, every time I think, so I'm like, nah, we need this. No, but it we d- need this. But you might have that understanding now. But did you always have that understanding? I didn't know what like sociology was for, like when I took that class. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know if it's because of the teacher or what <laughs> or the work. I don't know. Okay, so let's think. Who uses sociology? Isn't that like that the like study social- of people? Yeah, and I think with like so any social workers. Oh, okay. don't that, I, I think that's I part know. of like I guess when you go down like the psychology field, I guess you got to do. So I don't, I don't fucking know. But like, like Nigga, when I when I took the class, but like when I took that class, like I said, like I felt like that shit was like useless. I'm like, I don't know. Like I said, it could have been the teacher. Like I, I don't even remember what I learned out that out that class, bro. Right. Cause niggas was was cheating, right? And shit, <laughs> For real, bro. That shit used to be ridiculous, bro. Them tests used to be crazy, like a hundred questions. What? Yeah, bro. But like, um, and like niggas couldn't even understand what the nigga was teaching. Like, like he was, yeah. But um, bro, I don't know, bro. I felt like that shit. Like I said, I didn't know that it was connected 
to social work. I didn't know it was connected to all the other shit. Mm-hmm. Like when I was taking, I was like, all right, like the fuck, social society, people, niggas, mm-hmm. what the fuck. Like I, I don't know. I was like, what, what the fuck do that? How you get paid doing that? Like I said, I didn't know it was connected to like social work and all the other shit. That's the only thing I can think of. I can't think of nothing else for real. Mm. Cause like, I don't know. Like I said, like you said, art. I used to. That, that's kind of why I I struck, <clears throat> like kind of stayed away from that shit. Cause I couldn't from think art, of like yeah. no career and then like yeah. getting to it. But then like niggas got older, all this shit started popping up. So niggas like, God damn. Yeah. I don't See, know, bro. Your little dumbass. All you had. Nah, Man, fucking. <laughs> all right. So thinking about all that, what's something that you would do right now? Right now, amazing yeah. or or just like like going into a career field or maybe something that can help advance you in whatever it is you're trying to do now. What's something that you would do? I don't know, like fucking some with like a like a fucking creative team that fucking just like push out any type of content, whether it was clothes, videos, music, mm-hmm. just like some fucking just creative like team, bro. Mm-hmm. Movies, any fucking thing, bro. Yeah. And like like niggas ain't even gotta it ain't even gotta be like it could be different shit. It could be comedy shit, serious shit, any any fucking shit. Mm. But like get but like yeah. We get paid for that shit. That's sweet. That's sweet. I'm, that's it. I'm doing a certification right now and that's gonna help advance my project management shit. I'm I'm doing my C A P M certification because I gotta start there. I'm trying to get my PMP cert. What do that do? Let me make you a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> PMP Project Management Professional And I'm doing it through PMI Like so That is the world renowned Certification for project management it's, It shows that you are uh, You have the knowledge To do project management Holy Anywhere shit. So you could be your own Like fucking Or consultant You could be got Maybe down. I ain't even think about that Maybe Maybe, but even like employers, like I'm not looking to find another job, but it just certifies to my employer that I'm looking to advance myself in this field. I'm looking for the knowledge and I'm I'm gaining the knowledge to advance myself and to be an asset to your, you know, to your company mm-hmm. in the project management field. Getting more experience and right. shit. Oh yeah, and I also would like to be Shut paid the fuck up. <laughs> I would like to get an increase in pay. That's a conversation, and they're not afraid of that, you know. I and mean, I'm not a nigga that's trying to like hold niggas hostage and like be like, hmm, okay. So, <laughs> but they ain't afraid of those conversations. So you yeah, know, those conversations good. come when they need to come. And but I'm I'm looking to gain that knowledge and better myself, like and and that also involves bettering the company that I work for. And them helping better in my lifestyle too. That's how this shit mm-hmm. go. This nigga, he mad. This shit. I'm mad for him. <laughs> <laughs> he mad. But like because I didn't get a four year degree because I was fucking off in college. I had to. I, I got to take the certified assistant project management. I got to get that certification first before I can do the project management professional. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm like, so how long it take? It take as long as you want to. How much time you put into it? I'm probably like. I started in June, July, August, September. I'm like 70% done with the online course. And then I just gotta sign up for the for the for the test. Oh, so yeah, I'm pretty I'm probably I probably won't do the test till like November, December. Cause I need to I'm going through the the content, but then I'm gonna do a second round of studying just to try to like really take in the knowledge. But it's good shit. It's good shit. It's shit that I'm using right now. What you gonna take the test here? <clears throat> Or you got to go into me. a place and take the shit. I'm assuming you got to go into a place, but I don't know for sure. You scared? Hell no. Nah. I ain't never been a bad test taker. I've always been good at tests. I know you always pick C. <laughs> <laughs> C is the answer. 26% of the face ass. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Shit. I ain't never, you know how niggas be getting that, like anxiety with tests and shit and be mm-hmm. like, uh, they might even know it, but when the test come, they get scared. I've never been like that. Even oh, if I don't know it, I'd be like, nigga, I know I'm really past this shit. Oh, no, I just be like, shit. I was one of them niggas like, shit, I don't know this you shit. You nigga be like, shit. No, nah, like, I'm like, I'm gonna fail this shit and I'm gonna fail. Like, like, when I, <laughs> like, when I knew it, I knew it. I'd be in that, I'd be the nigga that finished the test first. Yo. Like, like, when I don't know it, they'd be like, shit. What's the lowest grade you got on the test? Bruh. Probably like a thirty something. <laughs> yeah, bro, that was in that sociology class. That shit had like a hundred questions on it. And the review, Yo. the review test he gave us had like two hundred questions on that shit. 
I think I got like a 14 or something. A 14, time. god damn. <laughs> What you ain't got, got one right? This was like a fucking some shit in high school. I got a fourteen, bro. I can't remember what it was. Damn. I think it was history. I I had AP history, AP, whatever my twelfth grade shit was, nigga. I fucked off in that shit. I ain't do none of the homework. I Damn. remember one of the I remember one of the questions on the test was like, "What is a speculator?" And this was <laughs> it was some term in history where. Like it, it means something else. I was like, speculating is when you think you know something. <laughs> <laughs> Use the personal definition for the shit. Hey. Speculating is when you think you know something, but you don't really know because nah, that's man. speculating, but that's not the term. That's not the way they used it. <laughs> like nigga thought he was. Uh, she was like this some. nigga. I had Miss <laughs> Rusha. Shout out Miss Rusha. She was like this nigga. <laughs> you've done no work. You haven't. You've done no homework. Look, she's like, get out. <laughs> get the fuck How did out. you get in here? <laughs> this is AP. Everybody can't get in here because I was smart, but I just never did work. Affirmative bro. action, <laughs> 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 niggas. Yo, now I got caught cheating sixth grade for real mm, in history. How you get caught? Because I was cheating with somebody. And they um, yeah, damn it! <laughs> I forget, I forget what happened. I don't know if the, I don't know if she caught me telling the nigga or if she caught the nigga asking me. Yo, oh, I can't remember what happened. I just remember going in the office and the nigga was crying, <laughs> like boo hoo and this shit. And then when I came back to class, <laughs> um, who was it, bro? I think it was, I think it was that nigga Kevin. He he, he was like, he was like, he was like, bro. He, he said, <laughs> Kevin Bingham. Yeah, we had another test. We, we had another test, and that nigga, oh, he asked me about something. I was like, nah, bro. <laughs> he didn't tell him. Yeah, I was like, nah, bro. Because the nigga got caught. You would be in the, in the office crying next, Kevin. Yeah, <laughs> you'd be like that nigga. That nigga was in that bitch balling, bro. Oh, shit. Who hooing? I was like, oh, shit. I'm like, this shit bad. Shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> shut your pussy ass up, nigga. We didn't get in trouble. We just had to sit in the office for like 30 minutes. Yeah, shut your bitch back. ass up. Niggas in that bitch crying, bro. Yeah, hey, you fucking me. Hey, you trying to... <laughs> I can't, like I said, bro, I can't remember if I got quit telling the nigga right. or if if I got if, if he got caught. Yeah, yeah. ask me or some shit. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's funny, bro. That was a good freestyle topic, bro. Yeah, yeah. Stupid. I'm glad I thought of that shit, you little <laughs> trick. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, bro. You, you want to go ahead and drop your socials? Anything else you want to add before we leave? Man, hey, look, y'all. Just be yourself. A lot of shit is going on in the world today, and people are getting lost. <laughs> no, I ain't got you. <laughs> nah, I was going to let you go, bro. Nah, but follow me on um, um, IG, social, and, and um the fuck is my shit social intellect s-o-c-i-l n-t-e-l-e-c-t i do this shit every time stupid ass and then follow me on only fans oh yeah ass. look only fans um nah <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna uh i'm gonna let y'all i'm, I'm gonna uh, send y'all that shut the DM. fuck up nigga he mad he mad <laughs> he don't got an only fan i don't need one shut remember up, i bro. said i was gonna put the um the, oh yeah the, the shit out there footage. yeah oh no nah, that's how bad it's been <laughs> I mean, no, niggas know, like, I said the wide-angle footage of the podcast. I've that, been saying that, that for, that's what you for said. months. No, I didn't say that just now, but in every other episode, I've said it about the podcast. Niggas know what it is. Never did that shit. Wonder why. I be trying to enjoy my time too much. I need to start, like, putting Dude, effort into the shit I'm doing. Yeah, bro. I want to do something with it, though, bro. Follow me on Instagram, T-E-I-M-O-N-P-H-I-L-L-I-P-S. Follow me on Twitter, underscore, underscore, C-A-L-L-M-E-E-T-E-E. -E -E. New Richard Podcast on Instagram, New Richard Podcast on YouTube, New Richard Podcast, New Richmond Show on Twitter. Shut the fuck <laughs> um, uh, 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 All streaming platforms. We got an audio version of the podcast. It's, just look up New Richmond Podcast. It's on Apple Music. Uh... I mean, it's on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, every other platform. Look it up, Nourishing Podcasts. 
You said stitcher. Yeah, it's on Stitcher too. So if you got stitches and you just go to that shit and get it for free. If you have stitches and you email them and you say I'm starting my subscription, you get it for free. Man, shut the fuck up, nigga. He's trying to look at <laughs> trying to look to say, say that shit serious. <laughs> All right, man. We should probably get we out. Peace. <laughs>